Hello again. We've reached the moment we've all been waiting for, DD Day. Yesterday's that final day of reckoning for the dieting Dawes Dozen, and of course for the great DD herself, Dana Dawes. Ah, uh, I, I wonder how you mean that, the great DD. Do you mean <laughs> the, the great great, or do you mean great great? We're not even great ones. We're not anymore. Oh. Um, the first thing I've got to do is wish you happy birthday. I mean, I know oh, it's a bit late, you. but happy birthday. Thank you. Very Excuse me. Can you just I, uh, talk amongst happy yourselves birthday. while we're doing this? Uh, well, it was last Sunday, as you know, but yes. this is my official birthday. Yes, and a little cake. I feel here. rather like the Queen. She has an official birthday yeah. and, a, and a real birth. It's lovely. This cake Especially is magnificent. It's yes, of course, you can't beautiful. have any of it. You realise that. Well, I know. I was just thinking that. I mean, just a tiny weeny piece, perhaps. I mean, after just all, this a, is yeah, D-Day. Yeah, we are celebrating, aren't we? You've got uh, 12, um, 12 <coughs> candles on here. They represent the... Uh, the, the, the doors, doesn't you? 12 see? candles, not, uh, yep. not the years of my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. anyway, uh, if, you, if you put all the candles of the years of my life on there, we should all collapse from the heat. Anyway, well, talking... <laughs> Good line, yeah. Talking about, um, again, talking about birthdays and years of your life, the whole aim uh, of the diet for Diana was to lose 52 pounds by her 52nd birthday. Are we going to establish that figure? Are we going to make it? Well, I've got, I feel pretty confident actually, mm. Nick, this morning, yes. You can see that by the fact that my face is wreathed in smiles. Yep. In fact, I might even have a little baby. surprise. Right, well, let's uh, <laughs> exactly find out whether or not Diana's achieved a great aim. But first, let's start at the beginning. The first time we met Diana on Good Morning Britain was way back on June the 17th. We want to take a look at her then and see how much she weighed at her very first encounter with our old friend here, the dreaded weighing machine. So let's look back to June the 17th. And I was 14 stone 3 on Monday at the press yes, weigh -in. Yes, you were, 14 so 3. let's see what's happened during the course well, of this week. Well, you've been weekend. going flat out since then, have you, I trying have. to lose some? Yes. Hey! You're under 14. That's a big breakthrough, isn't it? 13 stone 3. 13. Yes. Right, brings back memories. Now, I think... No Pretty dreadful memories, actually. Uh, well... It's quite horrified when yes, I, I know, saw but that. it's made it all worthwhile today, seeing oh, what you're like then. Yes. You, you know, I think apart from anything else, it's the sense of achievement. When you mm -hmm. set out to do something, you actually do it. That's yes. the thing that really thrills me more than anything. We're going to meet lots of achievers in a minute. I know. Let's just... <laughs> Have a look at today's recipe, which looks pretty good Oh, to today's me. recipe, well, of course, it's a celebration banquet mm -hmm. today. And it is a banquet because it's the Diana Dawes mock lobster mousse with caviar. Now, a lot of people will probably think that caviar uh, is the sort of thing that I eat all the time for breakfast, and it's far too expensive for them. But this, I'm going to give you a surprise because it's, um, it consists, this little dish, of ocean sticks, which are sort of crab-like, uh, dressed crab, and lump fish caviar. Now, this lump fish caviar is just as delicious as ordinary caviar, and uh, the whole thing costs 60 pence. Just for, I mean, this, that's ridiculous, isn't it? 60 pence for one of these little things, when you would think it would cost about six pounds then. And 110 calories, which of course is very, very much more important part if you're dieting. But I just thought you'd like to know that uh, for 60 pence, you can have something rather exquisite like this. Terrific. Very nice. Well, it's delicious uh, <coughs> slimming recipes like this, which have whittled down our doors dozen from a combined starting weight. I think it was uh, 154 stone to what they are today. So first, let's take a look at all 154 stone of them. 17 weeks ago on that day in June, when they all weighed in, 154 stone. This was the, uh, the scene when Diana first rallied her faithful Dawes Dozen together. Well, here we are, and we're all rearing to go. And just look at the size of us. <laughs> now, we're completely determined to go through with this, aren't we? Yes. And we're all going to lose lots of weight, aren't we? Yes. And we're all going to be happy and healthy as a result, aren't we? Yes. Right. And 50 seconds. So that's what the uh, doors doesn't look like 17 years ago, 17 weeks ago. 17. <laughs> it doesn't seem like 17 years, I promise well, you. No, it does to me. <laughs> Here they all are today. Good morning, all. Good morning, everybody. How wonderful to see you all here. You're looking very successful, apart from happy. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but uh, it seems to me as if there's someone missing here, and of course there is, because between the lot of them, the Doors Dozen have lost as much as one very hefty person. And I want you to see the phantom fat now, all sort of yucky, 16 stone of it. Here it comes. Ah. You will never believe this, Nick. This is, I tell you, it takes, it's, it takes quite a lot of strength to pull that. That is it. That, uh, that's what they've actually lost. Yuck. So what do you think of that? <laughs> <laughs> it makes we, you realise how well they've done. Between us, or it does that include me on that <laughs> mountain? I think it includes you, it yes, I'm sure it does. does. Anyway, it doesn't really make much difference, does no, it? Well, What's a few more stones? At, at least we know now where all those rolls of fat have gone. In fact, oh. uh, we weighed our doors dozen earlier this morning, and we're now very proud to announce our three top 
dieter, so I can tell you. It was, in fact, a close-run thing. So, uh, Diana, I want you to do the honours now, if you would. I've got some sashes here to present. Yes, can well, you tell as us you exactly say, it's, a, it's a very, very difficult thing. Obviously, as in any contest, when we weren't really in a contest, we, was, we were all trying to achieve what we wanted to do, but uh, it's, it's, not, it's not really nice to pick out three, but somehow, because we want to make this a special day, I know you all understand, and I know you're all very pleased with yourself, and you've all done fantastically. So, right, I'd better the read them in reverse order, yes, then, yes, do because, order. just like they do in the Miss World contest. Yes. Never thought you'd be in a Miss World contest, did you, John? <laughs> now, uh, first one, and uh, Marilyn Holden, and she's, well, first, she's brought my bronze award to Marilyn Holden from Ashover in Derbyshire. Marilyn, you have a, a restaurant, don't you? Oh, it's a pub. Oh, even more, even more fat men then, really, because there's food and drink in a, in, in a pub. Yes, yes. Everybody can buy me a drink tonight. And are you pleased with 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 what you've done? Yes, I'm ecstatic. Ah, really. oh, yeah. great. Well, you were eleven stone eight when you started, right? And you want to step on the scales and and show everybody. Please do, because yes, I don't do anything do. like that. Right. Take an and show everybody what you've achieved. So it was was eleven stone eight. And now we're down to nine stone. Nine stone eight That's towards nine. Just yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Yes, it so makes a difference. It will be eight. That's not too good at this time. Two stones. Well done. So you, get, uh, so you get the bronze award. I thought oh, I'd be doing this. Which is how I started. Mm? <laughs> That's the back of the bar. There we are. I'm sorry about this great big tub of lard. I don't know. I think it's rather <laughs> nasty in the front. Mind well, you. I think it's very important to have it here. Well, I think it is too. Stand by the side. One second. Get a shot of Marilyn there. Stand Excuse me. I'll just move it out of the way slightly. That's right. Oh, well, yes. Extremely well done. Let me tell me, you also get 28 oh. pounds of lard. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Well, that's the music, can't I? I can't shake. It Full of lard. They're, they're oh, very greasy. Nonsense. Very well done. <laughs> very well done. Right. right. Now we go Number on to two. our two silver award goes to Peggy Bloom of Leeds. Peggy, step forward. Let everybody I think have a look at you. Have a drum roll or something, she really. Is, don't she you? is beautiful, Hello, Peggy. isn't she? Hello, well Peggy. Done. And uh, you started at 11 stone 13. Is that right? uh, yeah, something like yeah. that. Nearly 12 stone. And how do you feel now? Fantastic. I mean, has it made any difference to your life? Oh, yeah, I've got a great sex life. A great sex life? <laughs> uh, we've got to move on to the scales wow. now, if we can, don't we? Very quickly, sorry. I think it's a bit early in the morning for that, Peggy, but I'm very pleased for you. You know, I'm very pleased for everybody. Uh, <laughs> right, do you want to nip onto the scales? Yes, yes. <clears throat> we'll discuss your sex life later. Yes, I'm sure you have very pleased. Yes. And you're nine stone ten, ten, is that right? Which means what's well, lost about thirty-one pounds. Thirty-one pounds. <laughs> no wonder your husband's delighted yes. for all the right reasons. Yes. Yes. Right, where's your silver award? Let me put that go. round Peggy's head, or round her shoulders, I should say. There the candles are. have gone out, by the way. I, feel, I know that. I thought I, that. I thought the studio was going to catch fire just now. It was rather an alarming moment. And I'm actually like the was getting more love for you. <laughs> <laughs> thirty-one pounds. That night. Thank well you. John's been training for this all week. Now, for the number one champion doors dieter, I'm delighted to announce that the one who excelled most on the XL diet was Elaine Short from Huddersfield. Elaine, you look fantastic. Mm, absolutely marvellous. And you were 13 stone to start with. That's right. Well, you look absolutely sensational. Has it, um, has it made you feel good? Oh, fantastic. Yes? Yes, yes, it's been marvellous. What sort of things can you do now that you didn't do before? Um, I don't know, I've never tried anything <laughs> very uh, <laughs> exotic, but certainly, <coughs> you know, so much less weight to carry about. Of course. I feel fitter, I feel, um, well, fantastic. You I've got, like, running wear upstairs. on my wardrobe yes. now. Yes, Because um, you've got a dress shop, haven't you? No, it's a hat shop. Oh, I am actually, you know, going into, go into fashion, but yeah. at the moment it's millinery. Oh, well. So, um, no, nobody yeah. puts weight on their head, do they? Let's, uh, let's Lane on right, the Right, can we see... And I'll just a reminder, you were 13 stone. 13 stone. And she's now 9 stone. No, it's 10 yes. 1. That's 10 stone 10 1. 1. She's just, well, just a as couple well. of pounds, just darling. I'm always trying to get as much off as I can. So 10 <laughs> stone 1 from 13 <laughs> stone. That's amazing. That's 41, 41 pounds. pounds that 41 lost. pounds. Yes. That is amazing. That's amazing. I think that's Cooper John Stapleton to come in again and give you a story. Oh, yes. Go away. Give 
you your gold award. I'm sorry this isn't real gold and real silver, but there you go. First Sasha I've ever had. Then. Is it? Well, it's a very, very proud all moment very for proud. all of you. Thank and you. I really, I mean, all of you standing behind, it's dreadful to be making a fuss of three people. You've all done fantastically. And I'm so thrilled with you. And thank you for joining me on the diet. Thank uh, you for and keeping me company. You wanted to join you, Dan, and well, we shouldn't uh, have done it without you. Let, let's put the spotlight on you now. Oh, Barbara. dear, must we? <laughs> can you tell us exactly what you were? I was 14 stone 3, I think. 14 stone quite a bit. Yes, mm -hmm. 14 stone quite a bit. And you were aiming yes. to lose 52. I was more before I started yes, this, but then anyway, well, 14 yeah. stone 3, yeah. I think I was. It's also exciting, I've lost track. Yeah. And I aim to lose I'll 52 pounds, yeah. one for every year of my life. To bring you down to 11.7. By my 57th birthday. 52nd birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I know I want to be Don't older. Don't add them on unnecessary. All right, this so is the moment this of truth. Is, <laughs> this is, is really it. Stand, can you stand up? <laughs> 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 11 stone 7, we're aiming I'll go on, for. I'll go on from the front. 11 stone 7. 11 stone 7. That, seven that seven is seven the target. And She's beaten it. That's a surprise to me. Well, that's two pounds bonus. Two pounds Where's bonus. Your sash? You can have some yeah, oh, I have some I don't think, uh, <laughs> No, I think what I shall do, I shall treat myself to one of those <laughs> lovely jewel belts that I used to wear back in the 50s and put it round my waist. It's a long while ago and an awful lot of weight ago. Yes. Well, before we go any further, I think there's a little surprise for you, actually. It's a little surprise. A little present. surprise? Yes. So you look the other way besides this. Especially from Judy. Doors Dawson, we'd like to say thank you very, oh, very much for everything you've oh, done. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. If I can hold it, it's very shiny. It's probably oh, a bit difficult, lovely. but there's a, a wonderful inscription on it. I don't know whether you can read it at home. It's quite difficult. It says, presented to Diana, an excellent lady, with thanks, the doors doesn't. An excellent lady. Ah, oh, an excellent lady. <laughs> so there you are. We'll crack up oh, the satellite against lovely. the microphone. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you very much. So there we are. Should we put this down safely? And yes. I think it's celebration time now, isn't it? We're allowed to let go once. Are we You're allowed, in charge, are we allowed time. to? Uh, yes. we allowed to I'm, I'm very bad at cutting cake, I'm afraid. Yes, well, but you, I well, you get on with the cake chunks. and I'll look after the champagne. I'm quite I could happy to do, do an that. awful lot of damage with this knife, but... Um, <clears throat> Come on, Winsy. Right. Look I can't blow. Champagne. Oh, and champagne, we're all allowed to get some champagne. But I think we've all earned it, don't you? <laughs> right, I'm actually come going on, to... Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Please gather round and come and have your... Oh, no, not as big a piece as that. My oh, goodness. And have your celebration champagne. Well, the last time we had champagne to hear was while we're um, <laughs> celebrating with the champagne here. Excuse me, sorry. It's all right, I'll get out the way, Nick. That's okay. It's not... <laughs> it's not Diana's last appearance. She'll be coming back at the same time next Friday when she'll be giving her own brand of common sense advice in answer to your problems, like what to do with Wincy when she gets in the way. <laughs> Just explain briefly, Diana, what you're going to be doing. Well, I'm going to be hopefully helping uh, anybody who wants help with problems and uh, having a few guests on who uh, have problems themselves and discussing uh, all sorts of advice because I think I have really had a pretty, well, a pretty traumatic life myself, and it's not that I'm trying to set myself up as somebody who knows better than anybody else, but I think if you need a bit of help and advice, I think I can probably give it to you. Okay, Diana, we look forward to that. Just to tell you, um, if you want to write to us and you have any problems, personal or emotional problems, you'd like Diana to help deal with, and as she uh, so rightly said, she's been through a few things in her life, and I think she's well qualified to help and advise. Write to Open Doors, TVAM. P.O. Box 200, London, NW1, 8TQ. I'll just give you that uh, address once more. Open Doors, TVAM, P.O. Box 200, London, NW1, 8TQ. And now we're going to... Uh, oh, you caught me. Right. Celebrate. <laughs> we'll go Cheers for a break. Everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Well done. Well done.